WWE SmackDown went down, and as you know, the Smack always goes down on SmackDown because that's what it does. It's not a, not just a fancy name or something like that. It's what they do. They give the SmackDown, and let me tell you quickly that it was a dope show. I enjoyed it, 8.5 out of 10, and I really liked a couple key points that I want to talk a little something, something about, particularly the little movie that Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes decided to shoot. I mean, it was like a cinematic little movie. It was well shot. I was looking for my popcorn. I couldn't find it. it Where's my popcorn? Because I felt like I was at a movie. This is the movie that you didn't know that you wanted to see, but then you see it and you're like, man, I want to see this movie. They need to make a movie. Because here they are, rolling in, first of all, Roman Reigns, five limos deep like a gangster, freaking coming into the stadium. And then you've got Cody rolling up in a 5.0 Mustang looking freaking again American, like, yo, what's up? <laughs> now he's showing them who's the real American man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, they both roll into the stadium. Cinematics are nice. The energy is incredible. Looks like a movie again. Like I said, it looks like a movie. They're in the middle of this football field and they're like, they're staring each other down. And the long, of it really the point of this whole face down was to say look yeah okay we're gonna work together we're gonna do this but make it clear that after this is over I'm coming to get back what's mine and that's what Roman's saying Roman's like I'm getting my belt back that's my belt don't don't be you know disillusioned to think that you ain't going to be you know getting the my my version of a smackdown the roman reigns superman in your face smackdown coming at you spear down at you you know what roman reigns does that's coming so i'm gonna get my belt back after we handle those fools right there and cody's like yo man this ain't your belt <laughs> i don't know you gotta watch it it was really good i really like that segment. probably one of my favorites like seriously one of my favorite cinematic little things that they've done in recent times. I like when they did the little cinematic things. They used to do like, you know, you'd see like one of the best ones was when The Undertaker, you know, and AJ Styles, that was a great one that they did that little cinematic whole little spiel there. The Fiend ones with um, Randy Orton, I think it was or something. There's, 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 there's been some good ones, man. Like, I just wish they'd do probably like a whole movie now. I want to see the movie Kevin Owens, not Kevin Owens, why was it Kevin? Cody Rhodes. I got Kevin Owens in my mind because I want to talk about him next because he's freaking, yeah, he's up to no good. I'm telling you, he's got bad, dark thoughts. But I want to see the movie Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes. Please make that into a full movie. Please, y'all can do it. Make it happen. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about the main event. Before we talk about the main event, let's quickly talk about before SmackDown even started, Bloodline was already causing chaos, security trying to check them for weapons and stuff. And of course, you know, Bloodline ain't having that. They about to freaking just like go <laughs> crazy on them. Especially when Jacob Fatu walks through, they're like trying to do it to him. Jacob's like, uh uh, ain't happening. <laughs> and then Jacob Fatu beats him down. He's like, does anyone else want to do a pat down? <laughs> it, was, it was so hardcore. I loved it. I love Jacob for two minutes. Oh my gosh, give us more of him. They definitely got to make him a world champion because he is legit freaking incredible. I love him. I love him. I love him. Great decision bringing him into WWE, man, because he is legit the dopest of all of them. Seriously, he really is. He is just so cool. Anyways, so main event, obviously, you've got the bloodline in the main event. But we also have Kevin Owens and DIY in this main event, right? Which is a very interesting thing because, of course, so what happened was Kevin Owens was going to make an announcement as to why or what his reaction, how he felt about the face to face that Cody Rhodes and uh, Roman Reigns had did. And, you know, Brian's just like, you know, kept asking him, you know, what's your what's your feelings on this? This and that. And. Finally, Kevin goes, look, I might as well just go out there and tell everybody how I'm feeling about it. Before he can do that, of course, the bloodline comes and, you know, bloodline does what bloodline does. Bloodline's about to beat him down like crazy. And DIY steps up and be like, yo, man, we're going to go and save Kevin Owens, which is like, wow, that's good. But you got to remember, DIY has some beef with bloodline, too, because bloodline, you know, got the belt from them, uh, the tag team belts, you know, but... 
the whole thing was DIY is now like, okay, we're inter running interference. So long story short, Nick Lawless comes out and says, look, man, I'm tired of all this. Man, this this peep, this this stuff's got to stop, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to make a match right now. I see three of you. I see three of you. It's going to be a three on three. So long story short, bloodline. And then you've got Kevin Owens and DIYs. That's supposed to be the main event. Okay, main event rolls up. Guess who's not showing up to the party? DIY ain't showing up. You know why? You DIY? Because uh, Bloodline beat them down before they could even make it to the front, to the you know, couldn't even couldn't even make it out to their entrance. They, their music is playing, nobody's coming because they got beat down, beat, 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 beat down. So uh, that ain't happening. So now Kevin Owens is like, oh, they're not coming out. So Kevin starts walking up to the entrance ramp, and guess who? Yep, Bloodline's coming out, and of course they start beating down Kevin Owens, but somebody wanted to smoke. And of course, it was the Street Profits because they always want the smoke. They come out. Now it's three on three, Kevin Owens and the Street Profits going up against the Bloodline. And uh, it was a good, freaking awesome match, as you can expect, because everyone in that ring can throw down. It was so good. And then the big point that we're all talking about, and I should probably even make a whole video just talking about this one particular thing. Is so blah 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 bloodline beat down all this stuff's going on. Of course, Cody Rhodes music hits. Cody Rhodes comes to the rescue like he does because he's the man. And so Cody Rhodes is in the ring and he's staring, you know, down the bloodline. Like, yeah, yeah, you want some? You want some more? Huh? Huh? I'll give you a nightmare. <laughs> Next thing you know, freaking Kevin Owens has a chair in his hand. And he's like, and you could tell he's like fighting hard not to do what he really wants to do. You could tell he wants to freaking just freaking knock, knock Cody out with it. Like you, you can tell that's what he's thinking. You can tell that's what he's thinking that he wants to do. They've been teasing us for a while now. He's going to betray Cody. Let's be real. It's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. I'm telling you right now. I'm calling it right now. It is going to happen. There's too much teasing going on for it not to happen now. Plus, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. It's it's what Kevin does. Kevin is known to do this type of thing. I think he's going to do it. He's going to betray Cody probably at the freaking event, the, 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 the next freaking pay-per-view, you know, the blood one. Blood, blood, pff. blood is going to be spilled. That's what I'm going to say. I could see it happening, and it's going to be Cody's. It's going to be really bad. I think Kevin's going to just be, go beast mode, and Kevin the Hill will come back, which I think we all like Kevin the Hill, don't we? So it's going to be really interesting. I don't know. Really great episode of SmackDown, though. Like, of course, there's some other little things here and there. Uh, you know, Naomi and uh, Bailey against J um, <laughs> Jaya Jax, <laughs> Nia Jax, and. T -t 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 Tiffy time. So that went down. And guess who's not having to leave SmackDown? Bailey and Naomi don't have to leave on the positive, but on the negative. Now they got to fight each other next week because no one's really sure who won the match out of them. So they've got to do one on one next week. The winner will get to fight uh, Naya for the championship. That's pretty much the main things that happened during the show. It was really good though. Don't let the quickness of me explaining what went down and not really going into complete detail take away from the fact that this was an awesome 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 episode of Smackdown like usual though it's been on a roll all of WWE is hot right now everything is good everything is fun you know and I like that the cool thing was so you get this little cinematic thing of Roman Reigns without Roman Reigns having to actually also make an appearance later on in the night so it keeps him still fresh keeps us still excited to see him right because not too much they're just giving us just enough to tie us over a bit but without actually giving us too much you know what I mean so it's perfect right now I love it it's really awesome freaking like I said 8.5 out of 10 I could probably even give it a 9 out of 10 really if, but I keep it 
give them something to work for next week work for the nine anyways thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or anything like that make sure you drop them in the comments below also let me know what you guys think in the comments below is kevin owens going to betray cody rhodes i say yes what say you let me know in the comments below anyways as always merch only foolish keep it off tap we are out